I just have to do something logical and consistent with the numbers that are assigned in parentheses. And SPSS is telling me gender is the first within subjects vector and close is the second one. So I just need to put male lab coat into this section here. That goes 1-1. One, one. Male gender, uh, gender male, and then the second one is going to be a male as well. Because there's a 1 here in, on this side of the parentheses and then a 2 because the clothes are changing. Now they're casually dressed. Now we have female because we have 2 and 2. That's female, female and type of clothing, one and two, that changes. So I'll put the female with a lab coat here, and female wearing casual clothing here. Now I can ignore between subjects factors because I do not have any different groups. Everyone was tested several times, in fact four times. There are no separate groups and no covariates. Now go into options, and you want to click on descriptive statistics, estimates of effect size, and homogeneity tests. Now, there is an option to put display means for here, but I think in the context of a repeated measures ANOVA such as this one, we're going to get all four means that we're going to want, and we're going to get all the analyses we need as well. If it were a more complicated design, I might want to look at display means for option. But in this case here, I don't. If you wanted power, maybe you'd want to click on that. Actually, homogeneity tests isn't necessary. I usually click it just by, just automatically. It's actually not necessary in this context because it's only a two by two. Uh, so I can deselect that. But if it were more complicated, and especially if I had a between subjects factor, I would need homogeneity tests. But I don't actually need it in this case. Click on descriptives and effect size. I think those are the two most important. Click on continue and you'll want to click on plots. You'll definitely want to visualize the effect, especially when there's an interaction. And I'll tell you now that there is an interaction. And usually when we do factorial ANOVAs, it's the interaction we're particularly interested in. Now how you present your means in a plot uh, is somewhat arbitrary in terms of whether you put uh, one variable as a horizontal axis and close or another variable has separate lines. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do both. I'm going to put gender as horizontal and close as separate lines. I'm going to click add. But I'm also going to do the opposite. They're b both going to be representing the same effect. They're just going to be representing it in a different way. And often when you look at the chart, one tells a better story than the other, or at least it tells it in a more clear way. And this is going to prove true here, although there is some subjectivity about that. So I'm going to I'm only creating two plots because I want to look at the two different ways of looking at these data and click on continue. So now in this factorial ANOVA there's a main effect of gender, our male uh, participants, uh, I should say male presenters or administrators of the test going to yield higher scores than females or is type of clothing going to make a difference? whether if you collapse across males and females and you look at people wearing a lab coat presenting the admit the memory test to the males does that make a difference in comparison to if you collapse across gender for casual those are the main effects so I'm gonna click on OK to look at these results for now and if there's an interaction it's going to get a little more complicated especially if I want to interpret the main effects so here are my results first table not very interesting. Here are the descriptive statistics associated with the four levels within the uh, analysis. And we can see that the males uh, scored, male presenters wearing a lab coat uh, were associated with a mean of 7.82 in terms of memory performance. And then males wearing casual clothing, a male wearing casual clothing actually was numerically a bit higher. So it looks like the males were performing better. For some reason they were feeling more comfortable. They wanted to impress the male uh, tester. We don't know. 8.79. We don't know if that's statistically significantly different from each other, but at least numerically. Now when we look at the females administering the, administra uh, the memory test to the male participants, we can see it's higher. They're scoring in the tens. 
the males are now scoring in the tens, and that looks a fair bit higher than when.